we have another video breakdown a void video breakdown look at this void right here and this was kind of the story of the fight you have ryan garcia is throwing the void throwing that jab boo jesus christ look at that fucking hairline now fresh fade too boy good for you bruh boom that that check that jab check hook is what was catching Devin Haney every single time. Haney hasn't been here before in his career. And here comes the one that drops him. That fast left hook that he's known for. Whack. Right on the chin. Drops him. Boom. This can't be allowed in boxing. One, it's not safe. And two, it's bullshit. And that was the thing in the fight. Each time Ryan went and got Haney, he would always drop him. Every single time. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We have another video breakdown. Avoid video breakdown of boxing. These two gentlemen just fought Ryan Garcia taking on Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia being a victorious one out of these two gentlemen. I had Devin Haney winning the fight before the fight even started just because all the antics that Ryan Garcia was doing in New York, drinking, and weighing, came in overweight, three pounds, had to pay Haney 1.5 million for every pound he missed, five hundred thousand dollars. So we're gonna break down this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit the bell to know we go live. Now there's a lot of things that went down in this fight that you can't do in mixed martial arts, right? Like one of them is turning your back, exposing your back, the flank uh, where Haney kept on hitting those shots are illegal. And I was gonna get right to you, let's go. Okay, here we go. And uh, Ryan Garcia, the speed factor, his blistering left hook that nobody really gets a chance to see. It's just pop, he throws it super fast. That that was, you know, what dropped him. So here's round one. Um, and one of the things that uh, Ryan Garcia did very well is just take the fight directly to Damon Haney. And that's something you have to do when you fight a guy who's, who won't come out of his shell. Right here, right here. So on that jab, boo, that left hook lands, follows it up, one, two. And here is that beautiful check hook that Ryan Garcia kept on hitting Haney all night with. This was like, this has always been his bread and butter punch throughout his whole entire career. And even though he's fully extended here, right? Ryan Garcia still was able to get that beautiful hook off and land against Damon Haney. Jesus Christ, look at that fucking hairline now. Fresh fade too, boy. Good for you, bruh. Good for you, bruh. I mean, that was the story of the fight is, 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 is that hook every single time. Ryan Garcia, you're not that bad either, brother. Yeah, that's round that's round seven. Boom, that, that check, that jab check hook is what was catching uh, Damon Haney every single time. Okay, watch, watch him come across. Watch, he's gonna walk right across that void. Okay, drops him again. And here's uh, a significant part of the fight is him dropping Devin Haney. Uh, I feel Haney hasn't been here before in his career a lot. And I've never seen boxing shoes look like that before in my life. Are those Yeezys right there? Never seen anything like that before. Kind of interesting kind of thing. But this was a, a huge momentum shift for Ryan Garcia in round seven that he finally dropped Haney and standing over him ready to follow up. If this was MMA, he'd be able to, but it's not MMA. This is round 10. Boom. Look how he just keeps staying on it. Boom, 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 boom. Drops him again. Bop, bop. And here's the thing too, each time, back it up real quick. Each time Devin Haney would try to exchange with Ryan Garcia right here, look at the holding. He's holding right here, holding him, trying to protect. So if this is mixed martial arts, you stuff the head, guillotine, or you get the head off you, put it in front, right hand. But each time they would exchange, that's where Ryan would land his best shots. Right here, let's we'll slow it down. Boom, right here, he's going to exchange. Ryan, he hits Ryan, but Ryan, it's it's a shootout. Ryan hits him with the right hand, and here comes the one that drops him. That fast left hook that he's known for. Whack, right on the chin. The speed advantage was for Ryan Garcia. That's why he landed first, and as you can see, he Dem was trying to hit Ryan too, but Ryan got to the, the target a lot faster than Haney did, and that's why he got dropped. And look at Haney's position. He's not in a position to precipitate that energy. His jaw took the whole power of that blistering left hook. Drops him. Boom. And here's the thing. This is one of the things of boxing that kind of frustrates me. 
coming from a mixed martial arts background is that he clearly is rocking him and he shoots his double leg takedown now the ref kept getting on ryan garcia about getting on his head well there was a fight with tyson fury versus uh was it name? deontay wilder where he kept weighing and laying on his opponent uh, tyson kept using his weight against uh, Fr uh not francis uh tyson fury uh, no excuse me deontay wilder and Deontay Wilder was absolutely exhausted. And that's what ended up, you know, uh, giving Tyson Fury a knockout. But this was another part of the story of the fight is that he kept on just trying to double leg him every single time Ryan Garcia would come in across the void and hurt him. And it was over and over again. And it was, a, this is probably one of the most frustrating parts about this fight is this. Like, they might as well just make a shoot a box, a shoot boxing where you can actually strike on the feet and then wrestle. But David, Devin Haney kept on doing this throughout the fight very frustrating and you know ryan garcia is still looking on his target he is behind his shoulder but and here's another spot too very interesting thing that in boxing this is allowed right so what would happen is uh haney will finally get across the void get ryan garcia gets the ropes and he turns himself away he's looking away this is not a person who wants to fight this is a person who wants to not fight and they don't get dock points and so you saw Haney continue to hit him here in this flank. Those shots are illegal, so they don't count. So what can he do? This is a very interesting thing. Like it's like a loophole. I feel like in boxing, I, I'm I'm working, I'm working. I finally get to you, and you turn your back, you turn away from me, right? How does Haney solve this? Not just Haney, but how does any boxer solve this? Because if any boxer comes, I'm just gonna turn my back, and you can't hit me. You know what I mean? Um, so one of the things I think I was sitting here at last night thinking like, how can he uh, take advantage of this person? One, just stay here and keep throwing the hook to the face and hopefully the ref, so the ref shouldn't break them up, right? Just stay here. But once Haney grabs them, then the ref's gonna break them up. Or does Haney come a little bit forward this way, square up and start hitting him? He'll still be behind his shoulder. But right now, this was also another frustrating thing about the fight is that he could stop Haney from doing anything right now from turning his back and i i feel that they should start penalizing the athletes um for doing that or the judges need to say hey this guy's turning away right now we we, we can't we have to this can't be allowed in boxing one it's not safe and two it's bullshit up oh, here's right here another another angle of it him landing it okay round 12 and it's just ryan just playing you know doing what he wants to do Look, and, th and this was the story of Devin Haney. He was so scared to come across the void. Granted, this is a bad angle of the void. So scared that he would never actually get a chance to just fight Ryan Garcia. But each time he would try to fight Ryan Garcia, that's when Ryan Garcia would land that, 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 that beautiful left hook that he throws. And this is the end of the fight. He's just waiting, circling back and forth. Look. Actually, that was a good angle. That <laughs> it's like it's... <laughs> Uh, let's go right right there this was a good indication of how the fight was right Ryan Garcia after round three or four he started being more in his bicycle running away because he knew Haney was gonna work in behind his jab and so when the person is going lateral and, and moving more the person can throw the jab but he can't go one two three because the person is always gonna move around on target so Ryan Garcia started doing this. Now Haney would just stay here and he'll get closer and he'll throw a jab and he would never commit inside the void. That's why Ryan Garcia was going. Now here was a flipper. Now when Ryan Garcia would go and get Haney, he would go get him. Land a lot of combinations, drop Haney with that jab, check left hook. And he'll also catch Haney because Haney would, when Ryan would come in into the void, Haney's head would go right here, try to do a takedown essentially. And then Garcia would frame and throw a right hand and land it right there every single time but this was like pretty much the story of the, uh, of the fight is that he would get ryan garcia right here ryan removed look he he covers look he's slowly trying to get to him and ryan sees that ryan has a range advantage i'm assuming too but look he throws his jab the jab lands but look 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 where he is he's still there and ryan's moving off so now in order for him to get another shot he has to reestablish that void all over again. And he's, he's got to reestablish that distance and cross the void all over again. Ryan circles, gives him the, the tongue. He knows he beats him. Well, look, 
he gets right there again he's waiting i felt he was just way too technical for this fight he had to actually be nasty making it a nasty fight to beat ryan garcia look at this void right here and this was kind of the story of the fight you have ryan garcia controlling the void and he was just having a hard time getting to him ryan would do the check uh left hook um haney was so content with going to the body and throwing just a jab he never really came in and started to fight because each time he would come into the void let's go to get it there boys let's go ahead and name it the void that's where ryan would do his best work and put haney on his ass but they would fight from this distance and ryan garcia would win it every single time those are essential shorts those are essential boxing shorts oh, that's pretty cool didn't know that i love essentials here's another steal right here um this is something that was helping ryan garcia land that check left hook right here this is a very very bad mistake in boxing or even mixed martial arts the same thing that uh, francis did to anthony joshua you start pawing for that that his lead jab when you start pawing for that lead jab you leave yourself exposed right here right ryan uh haney is exposed his chin is open we're gonna do it frame by frame so you can see how that punch lands it's a very basic punch right here he pause it pause again wide guard muay thai and look he exchanges he throws a beautiful jab this jab is not bad right but ryan garcia is so quick the jab misses comes boy lands right there and actually the jab does land but this hook is way more powerful than that jab lands clean right there and haney has that hand up right but it's just back here it's not protecting the chin here right that's one thing about fighting you can't protect every single spot on your face unless you go in your shell but if you go in your shell you're blind lands that punch look 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 who's energy the better position rocks him comes forward comes forward look he measures measures with that jab this is another thing that he did very well too in that fight he would measure his jab to find his next shot he would measure right there He's not trying to hit him. He's measuring. He's measuring. Beautiful measure. And the reason why he measured because look how much space he just covered distance. He knows where his target is. He's inside the void right now. Measures. Keeps on measuring. Guys, measuring. Goes a, a, another jump hook. Catches him a little bit. Boy. Look where Haney's hands are at right now. And then another left hook. He drops down. That lands on the, on the neck. And a right hand that falls right behind the head. Jesus. Right behind the head. And I, I think the boxers do it to themselves. They keep ducking their head over and over and over again. Look. And he's trying to hang on. Trying to get some shots in there. Okay. Here's round seven. There's that jab. Look where Haney's hands are at. You can't really see it. But he just threw the jab. His hands are down. He's doing that Philly shell style. But the right hand's not up. Look, look, look over there. Boom no hands are up whatsoever his hands are down ryan garcia is way too quick for him to be doing that slow motion see how this bad boy lands whack clean shot boom hits him drops him look and ryan knew he dropped him too look and look ryan's in another position he hits him turns the corner and then another position to land a beautiful uppercut if he wanted to beautiful footwork from ryan after landing that that that, that, that left hook this he threw uppercut drops him gets up pushes him back and now he gets right back on him right here watch it. that's another angle of it okay here's round 10 check hook again right hand He's getting all over him. Boom. Check hook again. Drops him. Whack, whack. And that was the thing in the fight. Each time Ryan went and got Haney, he would always drop him. Every single time. Every single time. So. Whack. Right there. The victory. And there he is. Ryan Garcia. The king. Oscar Dill. He goes, oh, man, we're to get some cocaine tonight. <laughs> so, boys, if you guys enjoyed this breakdown, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. And if you guys enjoyed this void breakdown of 
actually doing it live. But let me know if you guys like that. You know what to do. Yeah. Well, damn.